four. Let's get over to table two. We're going to stay with this now He's all the it. way to the finish. Oh, what a shot that is, by the way. The cue ball's on the rail. If it's straight, he's going to have to roll it a little slower, which might be better anyway. Or does he want to put a big stroke on this and follow it round? I'm not sure. I think just roll it in, Kelly. Well, yes, but the nerves, you know, that rolling no. in. But he's, he's played the right shot. Yeah, but having looked at the angle he did have, maybe <laughs> he should have put a bit more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now, this is, this is the shot now. It makes this. It is out. Yeah, this is not easy. We can, we've can. we all pulled these into the long rail with a bit of too much English. Oh, oh. he's funded it in. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this might go down as one of the greatest comebacks in World Pool Championship history. It really would. Well, a 10-3 victory appeared imminent for Imminent. But Shane Van Boning like the true champion, the all-time great that he undoubtedly is, has refused to go away. He needed to win eight racks in a row. He's two balls away from completing this remarkable feat. Well, he overrun the cue ball a little bit there. He'd have rather been shooting this in the top pocket straight, but it's there. How has Shane Van Boning come back and won this match? This is absolutely incredible. It really is. It's unreal how much he's held himself together. Shot after shot after shot. Plus the arguments they was having. There was needle in the match. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. SVP. <laughs> Uncle Sam will be here for the weekend. The last surviving American in the field, Shane Van Boning, collapses in his chair after a wonderful victory. Another landmark moment in a truly great career. From 10-3 down, he has beaten Mika Imanen.